back to school. Although there's this is um Alex Jones, um, Infowars.com, with some information I thought people would be interested in. Dr. Derek Wheeler, Associate Chief of Staff of the Hospital. The previous record was 515. Some reports out of Missouri and Colorado suggest the virus was symptoms similar to the common cold. And it continues, brought sicker patients to hospitals. We're just seeing the increased volumes. We haven't seen sicker than usual, he said. Hospitals from other states have placed restrictions on visitations, but Wheeler said there are no plans to do that in Cincinnati. The virus is similar to what doctors treat during cold and flu season. That means nothing really changes if a child comes down with a rare virus, he said. The bottom line is, is that this virus you wouldn't treat with antibiotics, so other than the high level of interest, there's no reason we would need to know it is this type of virus, he went on. Yeah. The point is there were a lot of deaths throughout the winter from super viruses and bacteria, and they kept very quiet what was going on. And so when you see an article like this, it fits into a cover-up. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but I've seen it before. Here's CNN reporting on the same issue. Virus hitting the U.S. could be tip of iceberg, CDC official says. And remember, all throughout the new year, I talked about the mystery stuff. And I talked to the medical doctors. They're watching my family die. Three of them. Throughout the winter. A respiratory virus is sending hundreds of children to hospitals throughout the Midwest and beyond. Health officials say the usually high number of hospitalizations reported could be just the tip of an iceberg in terms of cases said the virologist and the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Division of Viral Diseases. Twelve states have contacted the CDC for assistance in investigating clusters of introvirus. Alabama, Colorado, Michigan, Georgia, Ohio, Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Kentucky, Utah. And the issue here is they will cover up and whitewash real stuff. I know multiple parents who had healthy children who would get a virus this year and go to Dell Medical Center and they'd say, your child now has type 1 genetic diabetes caused by a virus that attacked your pancreas. How do you get pancreatitis from a virus and then it's genetic? I talked to medical doctors and they just said, that's what we're told to say. No, there are viruses going in and taking out children's pancreas and then I talk to medical doctors, a lot of times they restart, but they don't let that happen. They put them on insulin, and so now you're a type 1 whether you were or you won't. This is the kind of stuff they're doing at these hospitals, where it's all computerized and actuary to maximize the profits. And, and Dell's Medical Center this year in Austin was just overflowing with kids, two, three, four years old, being told, you now have type 1 diabetes, it's genetic. But saying, no, it's a virus. So a virus triggers something genetic. It's just incredible, folks. There's so much going on.